and welcome to another Supergirl reaction. Today I'm going to be reacting to season three, episode four, titled The Faithful. And if you were not with us last week, here's what you missed on Supergirl in 30 seconds. Last week on Supergirl, this episode had more filler than a chocolate eclair. Maggie revealed her tragic backstory to Mrs. Danvers, and Eliza began immediately drawing up the adoption papers. Meanwhile, McGon has been playing Martian Katniss Everdeen, and Space Dad had to convince his Space Dad that he wasn't the last son of Mars after all. Maggie reached out to her father, and he basically did the emotional equivalent of bringing the potato salad to the party that gives everyone food poisoning. Alex and Maggie are still in child-rearing limbo, and Kara likes Brittany. And that's what you missed on Supergirl. All right, guys, um, before you get started, I wanted to share with you this awesome t-shirt that I was gifted. If you can't see it, it says ERP, and it looks like the US Women's National Team crest, and it says we is the team. And it also, swivel, 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 fancy. It says Waverly 22, I believe because she's 22. And there is also an addition that is Winona 27. Um, I will have the person who made this, their, Twitter in the description. Um, I don't know this person personally, but I was gifted this randomly and it's really, really awesome. And I'm super grateful. So I wanted to rep it here for you today. And um, yeah, this these people who made this shirt are also planning um, ERP Expo 2019. So keep an eye out for that. And also the Twitter is in the description. Okay, so we're still drinking. I know I've been getting some feedback that's like, why is this happening? Why is everyone drinking? Um, I don't know. It's just a fun thing that we decided to start doing as a group of reactors. And so far it's been awesome because like, at least I look forward to having a beer now <laughs> instead of just having to watch Supergirl without any alcohol. Um, this has been far preferable to no alcohol. So we're gonna get started. Episode four. Um, I know very little about this episode other than it is called The Faithful and it is about religion. So obviously we're gonna have a lot of fun. It's gonna be, uh, I think, another episode in the same vein as the last one, trying very hard to hit the nail on the head and be super relevant. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll see if they do it right or if I am disappointed. Let's do it. Here we go, here we go. All right, you know what? These are way longer than last seasons. I hate who I really was. I can't. I can't do it. Okay, I'm done. I can't. <laughs> I'm weak. All right, out of the filler episode and on to what actually matters. You don't. You don't ever. You didn't. This guy is super familiar. What's he from? You guys usually tell me, so what's that guy from? <laughs> In the comments. Wow. I'm getting lost vibes right now. It's giving me nostalgia, flashbacks, flash forwards, flash sideways. That was a lost reference. He's a fan of no religion then. Where's Supergirl? Everyone, it's alright. Alex, what? Okay. I'm FBI. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, oh, 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 dur. Okay. Okay, so are they faithful in, in like, their, like, religious cult that, like, idolizes Supergirl as, like, a deity? I'm into that. I would be in that cult. You are lying if you say that you wouldn't. Oh my god, she is like every soccer mom that I've ever encountered. <laughs> Who's like doing work, but also like in a blazer out on the field, like cheering. Yeah, that's real. That's real shit. Ruby is special. Huh? Yeah, she is. What now? Wait, I don't, I don't think I told you her name. Bring Ruby to our community so that she may learn her path. Thanks. I'd be like, um, bitch, no. No, we're gonna go to Dairy Queen after this. I'm not coming to your 
to your fucking whatever. You just have to sign some papers and then we can get back mm. to it. Yeah, mm. no problem. Mm. Mm. But my boss really That's doesn't like when late. So. Super cool, yeah. Okay. Banter. Ooh, all three of them. The triangle. I'm gonna call them the tri the triad of hotness. Patented. The JQB. Okay. All right. I'll go. Um. What should? Girls' night. We're having a. Girls' night. Where did you get this? That means. You know what it means. She came up to me, tried to enlist me in some self-help meeting. I hate those things. Say, you know, oh my god, Wynn and James are back. Fight, dude. I've just been on the police they were off like last episode, crickets. having like a guys you weekend at wherever the hell is a destination oh, 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 for yes, National sir. City yes, people. Uh, Cara, what, what are you still doing here? I thought you already turned in your piece for the hospital closure. Just how ominous it is? I'm about to find out. Wait, wait, you're, you're getting... Alex and Maggie should do Undercover we'll, Part 2. We'll like the Fight Club. Protection. Remember those days? Yeah. Those were nice. When we were full of hope. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Standing in the light. Supergirl. For just one reason. Because you love Supergirl. That's what it We're is. We're here because Supergirl saved us. I thought this was going to be like a commentary on religion. Maybe it still will be. We protect others. I mean... The Church of Rao doesn't seem terrible. I bet they like gays. Many of us stay lost. And then he caught me. And she told me that everything is gonna be okay. Does she remember this? Because of Supergirl. I realize that I still deserve to be loved. Oh, Damn. Supergirl saved me. True. Oh. Every day, our sister Olivia oh. lives in the light of Rao's presence on Earth. The light. Oh, Kara's digging it. Truth. She's like, really, like her culture is being appreciated, and she's being appreciated because in nobody ever fucking appreciates her. Let's be real. Our savior, name is Supergirl. Well, he was pretty much a Boy Scout until about three years we'll ago. Well, take a drink for that shirt that Kara's wearing. Uh, let's see. He it's a good one. Lost or series of misdemeanor convictions for public drinking and disorder. It's not a religion, Sean. It's a cult. He's taking the teachings of Rao and twisting them. Yeah, okay, so she doesn't so appreciate it. Right? And I, I don't mean just like you know the symbol, but I'm talking about the sacred text. Can you keep digging on Kobo? I can dig it. Hmm. He's not evil. So oh. Leader, well then. Lena is the life of this motherfucking party, as is she the life of the show. I'm thinking, okay, well, he's gonna invite me up to his room. So I'm The gays! Yes! If I was baptized. What? Yes, yes, yes. Alex and Maggie were like. I kind of attracted that he believed in something, so. Go with that. What about you, Cara? Are you seeing any? Oh, I thought she was gonna be like, no, I slept with him anyway. I'm actually. Still getting over a relationship. Oh, that was awkward. <laughs> oh, Lena. Ruby's father. He still lives. Lena show. looked at her. It's just me and Ruby. I mean, how do you do that? Uh, not very gracefully. Alex is like, how do you do that? Because you guys will see when you have kids. Take some notes. Well, actually, we're not afraid for assuming. No, no, no worries. Oh boy. Oh boy. 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 Be down for another coup act. Yeah. I'm the slightly <laughs> nerdier. <laughs> yes, oh boy. How does Lena not know? You gotta get, you gotta, you just have to know. I don't want you to know without her telling you, because I really want her to tell you. She told fucking Lucy Lane, man, I miss her. I really miss her. Oh, oh. Oh, ooh. So they're like trying to commit, like they're trying to like, oh, to get inducted into the, into the, into the thing. 
Wait, was that a counter of like accident free for zero days? Well, there's an arsonist so excited to get caught. People can worship whatever they want. It's called freedom of religion. There's gotta be something you can do before Ooh. this escalates. So many layers. Until COVID breaks the law, my hands are tied. Layers Sorry. to this conversation right now. Number one, Maggie is like the best person, the best person ever. And even though freedom of religion and freedom of speech have like personally harmed her in her life, she's still like, yeah, that's that's the thing. Can you start your research paper? Love that cat grant. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually researching an article uh, about your. She's like, yeah, I know me too. I miss her. I ask a few questions. Oh. I miss her too. I. I am dog sitting currently. I think it's admirable that you want to help people. Okay. I mean, logically, Supergirl can't save everyone. Is this a test? <sighs> Excuse me. Did you come here to test my faith? Are you challenging me? Cause challenge motherfucking accepted. Putting everyone at risk now. I'm not. Shit. I'm, I'm not. From my seat on that plane. <gasps> when you look into the eyes of God, you do not forget. Oh my god, he knows. He knows. Wait, don't, don't worry. Your secret is safe. Huh? Me. <laughs> so he can safe. see it? Let my God walk. I mean, she wasn't wearing her glasses, but still. You. I am not God. You Ooh. Are going to stop <sighs> Taking them off. Shit. Getting it going. Put themselves in danger. Ooh, glasses come you off. Mm. You need to do as I say. Mm. You need to trust me. Abusing your godliness you. a little bit, but okay. We'll take it. She also has a little scar above her eye, and like a lot of people have looked very close up at her face, including Lena. Cat Grant got it. Come on, Lena. You're smart. You're smart. Congratulations. Lena. And Sam. Ship it a little bit. I ship it a little bit. I'm oh, this is so unprofessional. Oh, she's crying and venting to her. I'm just screwing up. I'm not with work. Oh my god. I ship it. Oops, it happened. Why are you smiling? That is how you raise a girl to be a badass. <gasps> Ooh. I love this. I love it. Oh my god, I love this. She, okay. Kara, if you're not into it, if you're still into mayonnaise, man, those two, they can just go. Just get it and go and go away and be li like live together and be fine and it's good. I still ship Supercorp. Oh, so but, CW writers. It was our community. Yep. Yeah, Would you just chill, church. please? What makes somebody blind just because they believe? Nah, I'm a Superman. The Daily Planet. No, nah, that's your cousin Clark. I'm watching still. Nobody shows up, but Clark did. True, true. You do. That is a very Clark fair assessment of see, something that we can touch. religion and why they worship Supergirl. How are you not a miracle? Because she's dope. Okay, so we're starting to get themes now of religion and misguided misinterpreting of texts and extremism. We reaffirm to her. Alex, you have ten minutes before that beta hedron preaches. You need to get everybody out of that state. Oh my god. Twas gay. Our prayers have been answered. Rao would never ask his followers to endanger other Hold up, Rao is a guy? Mmm, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think Rao is a woman. That makes... <laughs> this whole time, I thought Rao was female. Or like, maybe at least genderless, like... I thought Kryptonians were a little bit more progressive than, than worshipping a... Patriarch. It's fine. I, like, whatever. Whatever. I believe 
Because she bled? Man, Jesus bled. People thought he was God. Alex Danvers fucking here to save the day once again. Wait, how did- what? They put Kryptonian soil samples on the probe. It Quick, get away. What is she gonna do? Lasers? Oh boy. Alex Danvers here to save the day again. Alex Danvers is the hero of the show. Get the fuck over here. Help me with this. Wow, this episode wasn't very gay. Hey, buddy. Yes, thank you. And I finally understand Raoul's will for me to help you on your journey to bring you back to clarity of purpose. She doesn't even know you. If anything, it's gonna be Alex or Lena. Oh goodness me. Oh, they all came. Does Ruby even? Oh my God, Lena just said she was gonna be part of the family because she's gonna have cool aunts and like, that means that her and Kara. just like just snuggle oh Alex no oh no oh no 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 oh <laughs> Kyler <laughs> Alex my child and you tried Me too! Valentine's. This is fucked, man. This is really fucked. And I'm gonna tell her that the world is a bad place because she's in it. This is fucked, dude. Why doesn't Maggie want that? That's like... What am I gonna do? Fuck me up, my friends. That is some shit. They're playing hallelujah under this fucking emotional scene and you know what's coming, man. You, Supergirl, fuck, man. That sucks. I'm so sad. I'm so fucking sad. I am so fucking sad. Guys! <laughs> Fuck, man. Oh. Well, protect us so that we might protect others. And we shall rise. A fire in his heart. This is good Supergirl, man. The first four episodes, no fucking mon -El. I'm serious. Keep it like this. Nobody wants mon -El to come back. Ugh. What is Rain gonna do now? Is she gonna take off her clothes? Because some gay shit right there. Sorry, bringing it back to some levity. Can bring some light to the situation here. Ooh, fuck my life. What? So, so scary. I am unpleasant. Oh God. What's that? Is that a person? People? Is it a suit? Is it the suit? It's the suit? Nope, that is a people. That is a alien. <sighs> Look at that motherfucker. He is so cute. 
Oh, Supergirl, you did it again. I have so much to say about one, that episode, two, the season in general, and pretty much it's the same exact thing, what I have to say. And that is, it's so good. Like, this season, if it continues in this way, these episodes have been like really, really close to season one. I'm so happy with Kara in this episode connecting with her culture again. And like, I feel like in the first season she had not really come to terms with like her planet being annihilated. And so we had a lot more of her like connecting to Krypton and connecting to her mom and through like that thing at the DEO that like her mom was like, a, what do you call those things? Hologram? That's it. Anyway, I'm, I'm really impressed with this episode in particular. That actually, that was really emotional. I think that was more emotional than last episode for me just because it was so like, kind of questions on the broader meaning of life and family and love and you know, what it means to live and how how sometimes people want different things. And I actually, as much, I'm not saying this with any definity right now, but as much as I am sad and very upset about Sanders and the breakup, I feel like I didn't know what to expect. And now that I'm starting to see how they're doing it, it actually makes a lot more sense to me. Again, it easily could never have happened because Floriana could have stayed on the show and then there would be no reason to pursue this plotline. But the fact that they did and the fact that they're doing it with emotional levity and it's really emotionally charged and very real, I think it's doing it justice. I think that I think that it's impressed me so far how they've handled it. And I guess we'll see. Next episode, 305, is uh, one that we've been waiting for. That was, that was some deep stuff. That last scene at the end was probably my favorite scene of the season so far. Um, and I love that all the women were back in this episode. And we have Sam and Lena and Alex and Kara and Maggie, and they were all together and they're all friends. When is Monel supposed to come back? Because uh, seriously, I don't want to have any more screen time spent on him. Like this stuff with all the women and now like Sam and Rain as a new character, like focus on that, focus on that. Like don't, don't fucking bring him back and try to like make us care again. <laughs> just spending enormous amounts of, of on-air time on his story. We don't, I don't want it. I do not want it. I want the rest of this season to be about Rain and Kara and Alex and Lena and Wynn and James and bring Cat Grant back and Lucy Lane and that's it. Anyway, I digress. I'm done ranting. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. I will be back next week to react to episode five.